go. Just received a couple of Dingo Box 105 amp hour slimline lithium. All right, let's have a look. Here we go. Jeez, they're tiny little things. 73%. Thirteen point one volts. Anderson plugs. Anderson plugs. Uh, I was worried about these Anderson plugs being, uh, you know, copies or non non genuines, but they are genuine. Uh, this voltmeter and capacity is actually calibrated to LifePo four cell, so this should be quite accurate rather than just a standard voltmeter for an AGM. Um, sockets, USBs, lovely, alright. Jeez, they're so small. I can see some mounting holes. Lovely, I like it. And number two, let's try that button. Oh, beautiful. Green display, green button, that matches nicely. Alright, well I'll open these up a bit further and see what's inside, eh? I've already undone the screws, I've already had a peek in there myself. Um, I actually opened it because I want to change this. This is the one that was in there. Um, I, I, the only reason I didn't like it is because it's got some Chinese writing there. I don't know this brand name at all and I can't read Chinese so I don't want that on there. I pre-ordered some, uh, some identical units with no, um, no brand name or no writing on it at all. The only difference though with these ones is I ordered a clear backlight rather than the green. Um, green would have been nice because it would have matched this um, uh, switch for the USBs over here. This switch by the way actually activates this USB. Uh, we have USB-C and uh, the Quick Charge 3, uh, both fast charging. Alright, so here we go, let's have a look. So I've undone all the screws around the outside. Um, they were very, very small grub screws. They might be prone to uh, cross threading, but uh, they were all okay, actually. Um, now I've already had this off. And I was very impressed, actually. I've also undone some screws for the BMS uh, because I have been trying to replace that. Let's have a look. Uh, I was impressed with the the bracketry inside. Yeah, they've really they've done really nicely with uh, the, the metal work in here. Uh, Alright, so I've had this off. This can come out. I've noticed they've put some wire protection in certain spots, you know, where the wire might be rubbing up against some metal. Very happy about that. Um, all these little plugs on the BMS are glued in, so they're not going to rattle loose. Another good thing. Um, impressed with the solder joins I can see here. I do soldering every day of my life for the last 15 years, so that's uh, very good quality to me. I had another look at the Anderson plugs. They are genuine. They're a bit hard to see, but I can see the, um, uh, the labels on the top of them. All right, let's get this out. Uh, now another thing I like is, I've, I've just been really impressed with all of it actually, there's a metal rail allowing the wiring down here to be secured to, they've got rubber on top of that so the wire is sitting on top of the rub rubber rather than the metal. Um, there is a fuse in here, a mini fuse which is feeding the socket and the USBs. I do like that, it does need it, however, I'd probably, you've, you've got to pull the BMS up like this to even get to it. 
So I might um, ask him if we can have a fuse, but some sort of resettable, you know, like a push button or a flick resettable circuit breaker or fuse, just to make it a bit easier for myself or anyone else who needs to reset the fuse or replace the fuse for these things here.